before the radio audience returns, the first of uh, two times I will introduce you, the very, very funny brother duo. We loved them from Cheap Seats back in the day. Now the weekly podcast, Scarborough Country. Good to see Randy and Jason Sklar. Good to see you guys. How are Thank you guys? You. Great, Great to, to be here, man. Hello. Good to see you. Love the show. Love seeing you. Great job on the draft, by the way. Thank you. Phenomenal. As always, so good on Too the Too many draft. hours. It's, it's a, a lot of time to fill. You, uh, you're up there. But I think it's, it's enough hours that, like... Obviously, you get time for your real personality to come through in many, many moments. <laughs> and I think you, get, you, don't, you, aren't, you aren't confined and by And you don't the know there's going to be a Laramie Tunsil, but then the Laramie Tunsil happens, and then you're off and like running. Like, he dropped farther he and was faster than Robert Kimdichi out of a hotel window, well, when know, you think about <laughs> it. I mean, yeah, exactly. Am I wrong? It's, it's one of those moments, too, <laughs> where, where the producers get in your ear yeah. and say to you, because they were wondering, like, what do they, what do the producers say to you for this thing? Right, right. They, you know what? The one, the only thing they said to us was just, guys, watch your language about your, your high on this guy. Right. Yeah. That exactly. Somebody's going, this somebody's going higher on the draft. You so than wanted that to one. be like, look, you want your offensive lineman to it's take a hit, careful. just not from a bong. That's Correct. It. That's what you wanted to say. I want to take a hit, a big not hit, but not with and a thing on with a gas mask. Yeah. Now, and not hold now, the hit. Now, and hold we might as well box. talk about this. Certain for the radio audience, we're we're, all, we're Michigan guys. We've, yes. We've seen hash bash, right? Over and over. Hash bash. Okay. Was, yeah. The hash bashers. Yeah. The five dollar yes. fine. Five dollar fine to smoke. Do you know that? Do you know that in Ann Arbor it's a five dollar fine? And by the way, I will go on. I will go on wow. record as saying I believe that that you know weed should be the thing that pe that players use to cure their pain more than opiates. We're happy to say that. All that said, yeah. Have you ever seen the gas mask? Uh, I've heard of the gas mask. Never, never seen it live. Heard Not it. since Bane. From uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was a straight Bane move. That was the Bane. That's the Bane of his existence. Oh, yeah. I watched the video. I'm like, is this guy? First of all, I wanted to take it off right. just to see, is it Laramie Tunsil? It might not be That was be my him. first thought looking. Take right. off because I want to see if it's Tunsil. Right. And then 15 seconds in, I'm like, well, whoever it is, uh, take the damn thing take off. Thing How off. could you be sitting there for that long How with that How can that, that be on? fun at that point? And then afterwards, I feel oh like you would be way too high to yeah, enjoy too anything. Too high, too quickly, too high. I, I just, it, if there's video footage of you doing something that's not great for you and you are a future NFL prospect, yeah. it will come out. It will come out at some Lesson for us all. That's right. Back with the Sklar brothers in a moment. Next guests are big St. Louis guys, and they are very, very funny guys whose podcast should be downloaded and listened to as much as possible. Sklar Bro Country, Randy and Jason Sklar, good to see both nice of you. Nice to Hello. see you. You've been Long fantastic Randy, on the podcast, yes. by the way. You've I love great. your podcast. Your episodes have been awesome because you, you get it right away, you jump right in, and we can get deep in the sports. Deep into it. But then go off into other directions, which is really what the podcast is about, which is why this show matches with it well. Yeah. I'm all about the tangent. Yes, you the know, tangent is beautiful. The tangent is what I mean, it's you got a million about. people just talking straight sports. No one wants to I'm turn trying, around and watch it. I know. But let's talk straight sports. Let's talk let's straight, straight sports, sports for a second so, and so Jared the, Goff. Are you, yeah, are you okay? I mean, because you're here in Los Angeles. First of all, it's good that he came to L.A. You, yes. Because he's got small hands. There are a number of plastic surgeons that can enlarge You can get those enlarged here somewhere Nine in Beverly inches. Hills. Can you go to 11 inches you on that? You might be able to go to it. <laughs> you know, I knew it was, it was no longer a St. Louis Rams draft choice. Yeah. And it was a Los Angeles Rams draft choice. It finally came home to roost on the third day. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you watched the third day of the draft. Yeah. You know, it yes. gets a little deep. It gets deep. It's when, you know, they, were, they had celebrities and guest uh, pickers. Announcing, yeah. When Vince Ferragamo uh -huh. uh, was surrounded by minions... Mm -hmm. and The Simpsons, mm -hmm. and a Marilyn Monroe impersonator with Jim Everett at it's, Universal. Yeah. You know you're not in St. Louis. No, now. they're all going to go work at Grauman's Chinese Theater, they're just all shaking put, people's hands later. Put their small hands. That's put tiny, put tiny hands. hands. <laughs> and you can put more of those tiny hands in. The, you can add Jared Goff's hands to another person's block, and that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I, here's the uh, thing about it. Are you it. fine with this? Because you well, live the first out in Los two, Angeles. Yeah, well, I was sad. Well, for, you know, as St. Louis guys, it's sad that St. Louis loses an NFL franchise. It's sure. sad for the city. I I mean, it felt kind of like the dog you rescued got stolen by the person you rescued it from. Right. <laughs> Initially. And so, like, they, they come back to Los Angeles, so there is a history here and a basis. I just can't believe that the two guys who make the most money in this draft mm -hmm. are... Now Do they have great college careers? You don't even have to play great in college. You just have to show the skills and have a good combine. Because, really... Yes, Goff played pretty well, but he was not on a good team. He didn't like the never won the Pac-10. Did they win the Pac-10? No. no. Or the Pac-12. Or, or the Pac-12. Pac they didn't even win the Pac-10 because they, they didn't, didn't build the a time machine to go back when it was the Pac-10. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and then you got another guy playing at North Dakota State, so Carson Wentz. So 
you know, I say if Carson Wentz played for Ohio State, would he be even be on the depth chart? As we a don't even know. We, don't know. we don't know. We don't know. So now if you're a guy in high school, you're a kid in high school and you want to come out, you see these two guys at one and two in the draft. Yes. You might say, look, I'm not going to get banged up at, at LSU. I'm not going to do that. Maybe I can go and play for a Mac school and be incredible and still have – Keep Rack myself the stats. That's right. And then have a good combine, and then I jump up the, the charts. There you go. I mean, I, I, mean I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, that was a conversation about Leonard Fournette this year, as I think you were making a reference yeah, to. Yep. Should he just tap out and wait until it's his time? I mean, you Why hope he doesn't get injured. Right. I, mean, I got Jalen Smith on the show tomorrow and Miles Jack today, and you saw what happened with those I mean, we guys. thought for a while that we were – we're going to get Miles jacked in your you green room. At the beginning of the show in the green room. We were in the green room for a while. No, we're no looking up. Maybe there's a camera on us, and then you bring us on tomorrow. We're going to come back. You push us to the no, next day. No, we didn't no. show up. We're no. going to hang out with yeah. our families. Should, should they do that at the draft for the green room people? Is just, just say, hey, so you've been bumped. Sorry. sorry. You know, just like, like, yeah, like Letterman. Like, just comedians get it. Comedians, comedians get it. When you're I the want, comedian on a late night show. You're the last segment on any late night show. If somebody goes long, they're like, sorry, you're going to have to come back tomorrow. The commissioner should have come out and just said, so to Miles Jack and Jalen Smith and everyone else that's in there, have you back. Thank you. Thank, yeah. but we'll have you on a future show. We'll have you on tomorrow night. We'll have you on tomorrow That's night. That's some old school you get stuff That's right old there. old school, yeah. So uh, did you see, well, before we go to break, as yeah. a matter of fact, um, that just moments ago, breaking news, mm, mm. that it's been confirmed by The Hollywood Reporter that LeBron James is going to start in a reboot of Space Jam. That just I was know. reported five minutes ago. That Now, here's the question. Do you want it to be better than the original Space Jam? Because you know I it should be a prequel. Prequel. It should set up the original Space Jam. Because all Jordan fans are going to be like, so Jordan is was a better actor. Than what, Oscar Robertson, Robertson is playing Oscar hoops or something? Like, do, you go up, do you go back then? I mean, mean, Oscar Robertson is the entire movie is talking about how not good Steph Curry is. Is there going to be a role for Sean Bradley in the next one if it I is, in fact, a sequel? That's gonna, what I want to know. Just a missionary, I'm, just trying to recruit When was people? the last time you saw Space Jam? I... I, it was in the 90s. It really? A long the, time ago. Because I, I showed it. it to my kids. What is it? Because I know your well, kids. Of course, well, they love it. I they mean, love it because it's love Who was the Bunny player in there that you're like, oh my God? You Sean Bradley. <laughs> right, Sean Bradley. <laughs> and, but, and also Del Harris. So was if, one of the coaches if it were made who today, up. who's the Sean Bradley that makes this? Who's is it this? Steven Adams gets a Steve. role. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, who's the guy? Boban. Boban. Of the Spurs. Boban has got to make Space Jam. See, Gortat to me feels like a giant. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Like someone just took a dwarf, you know, like from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, they just, there you go, Gortat is Splitter, that. it could be Splitter. It could be Splitter. Yeah, Splitter. Who for a while, when the, when the I remember when the Spurs played the Cavs, mm -hmm. which could happen again. Yes. We're, we're at this point, we yeah. don't know if Steph comes back. It could happen again. There was a time where he got blocked on like four straight I was like, this guy's like a troll on Twitter. Right. Everybody's blocking him. Every single person in the world was blocking him in every trip down the court. What if, here's, I don't want to give them too many ideas mm -hmm. because, you know, I'm, I'm not on retainer. You're an idea I'm man, not on I'm an idea know, exactly. Man. But definitely, isn't Della Vadova the Tasmanian devil already? He is the Tasmanian already? Della Vadova. <laughs> is essentially what he is. He is. He is. You don't have to go too far. He, when, he's, when he comes out and says, I'm going to break some ankles, <laughs> it's not on crossovers. <laughs> he's rolling roll up, up on somebody people and breaking ankles. Yeah. And that's, that's his move. Yeah, he just he breaks out. Yosemite Sam. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to shoot. <laughs> you go for a loose ball. No, exactly. And takes, oh, Yosemite Sam will be shooting up, and he'll be up, and then when he lands down, there's Del Vadova underneath him yeah. rolling. And they, still, the, they still won't call a foul if it's in no, the last 20 no, seconds. No, because the they're like, listen, they it's a we can't determine the outcome here. Okay, well, look, uh, let's take a break. We'll come back with okay. some more with you. I, I've been waiting to tell the backstory of my moment where uh, <laughs> Mayock and myself Daniel Jeremiah and Charles Davis could not control ourselves. The Beavers moment. Yes. Let's get into it. Yes, that's next Can't here wait. on the Rich Eisen Show and 60 Ticks of the Clock with the Sklar Brothers. Then I can do it. Wings and fly away. They got to put this in Space Jam. I think R. Kelly should write a brand new uh, soundtrack, but just based on his life after all of his troubles. Yeah. I mean, I, that would be an incredible soundtrack. <laughs> I'm trying to read into every lyric of I Believe I, I Can Fly and put everything I know. No, you don't Kelly want to. Too. Randy and Jason Scar joining me here live on, on the Rich Eisen Show. And um, have you ever been on a live show where you just can't stop laughing? Yes. It, where Once the bug it's... gets you, you're done. You can't stop. Because, and, and nothing can stop. It can bring you back. Like, you're trying to think of things that are the most morose things in the world to bring you back. Uh, nothing. Well, I couldn't do that even because I, I, it was one of those. I've had that once with Stuart Scott on Sports Center, mm -hmm. where, we're, where we were doing a highlight of a Q school qualifying school. Mm -hmm. 
and there was some dude who looked like Jared Lorenzen out there in shorts. <laughs> Gotta love him. Okay, you know what I mean? Like a big I, I, guy. He, he did not. He wasn't dressed like a like a professional golfer or, <laughs> or want to be professional golfer. It looked like somebody was hacking it up. At who the, let at the their Munich. nephew on the course? Right. Yeah. So and then uh, the guy shot like an eight on a hole, and we showed almost all the Every. shots. Mm -hmm. And then he finally tapped in, and he flipped the bird to the camera. <laughs> And we didn't know that was coming. <laughs> That's perfect. And Stuart and I couldn't control ourselves. It's great. We threw the break. That's yeah. perfect. It's like, we're done. So this happened. Uh, you got. You guys did not see this. I moment, did not correct? see no, this no, moment. I but this, I. This all because you know Mayock can talk about body beautiful this and all mm -hmm. these things right. that 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 if you have a dirty mind it goes in the wrong you direction. You can put it there. Right? And he and does it in that monotone exactly. style that, that like well, that he can Philly slip accent in. too. Yeah. Philly, Philly okay. huge Philly fan. Pete Rose belongs in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, they swallow. He swallows all of his L's. That's right. <laughs> exactly. So, and then, th so Willie Beavers had just been chosen, mm -hmm. okay? And I went through the top, the last five picks, and I mm -hmm. mentioned who had just been chosen, mm -hmm. and then through to the next mm -hmm. uh, pick mm -hmm. for the Bears. This, yeah. this is how it went down. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Vikings have selected Willie Beavers before that Billings pick. And hey, Rich, I'm very much a Beavers guy. <laughs> <laughs> With the 124th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Dion Bush, defensive back. Oh, Miami. God. You can't. Just wait. No, this is it. We're done. Um, That's it. Listen and watch. I can't help you out, man. The producer, help us out. Let's go back to the East West game. <laughs> Let's talk about Gerald Hawkins right now. Let's talk about Let's throw the break. Let's, Let's, go, break. Let's go back. Just throw the break. <laughs> we worked very long. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we were we were You're done. lucky. You if you're a Beavers guy, you also have to be <laughs> a Bush, Bush guy. guy. I mean, that's just the way it goes. I mean, it was really something that we could not handle. The Bears, I feel like, w were watching your thing. They and wanted like, to we're go gonna now and they're like, we we were prepared. Like, as soon as Mayock said that, Charles Davis, Daniel Jeremiah, mm -hmm. and I all shared a look. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they cut just for editing purposes. You could hear Mayock's mic open, sort of look at us and understand, wonder why we're what all laughing. Doing, right. And then he looks at us, he goes, okay. <laughs> like that. <laughs> It's great. And great then, moment. So then we're all like laughing, laughing, yes. composing ourselves, and the Bears made that pick, and we were finished. You're just losing. You're done. It was absolutely finished. That's perfect. Now, the coup de grace would have been, because Law's Eagles, mm -hmm. a few moments later, mm -hmm. chose a, <laughs> out of West Virginia, a running back named Wendell Smallwood. No. Now, had he been chosen <laughs> next? Wendell Smallwood. <laughs> I mean, Wendell was, he, was Smallwood, he a running back? He's a run the greatest thing about Wendell Smallwood is he hits that hole. He gets hey now, in there, hey, he finds hey, it. The guy he, understands how to penetrate. He gets Careful. in, uh, and in between We're the lines, walking up to the, the north line. We're not crossing the line. I'm talking about his running style. style. Yeah, okay. He's very he can much. score. The guy can score. And and what what I'm saying. Scores, the thing, too, is that we were already on the edge ten minutes before. Yes. We were already on the edge ten minutes before all this because Mayock, in his Philly accent, Philly. He was his Philly accent. He's a fan of the Beavers. I'm a fan of Beavers. I like a water ice down on Fifth and Lake. Because he talked about a player out of Canada from a town in Saskatchewan called Regina. Oh, yeah. And when Regina. he said that, as as you you say, know, we all looked at each other and were like, no. here we go. It's not Regina. <laughs> it's Regina. It's Regina. <laughs> yes. And it play, I'm not a huge fan of I was a big fan of the Regina monologues. <laughs> they were really great. So I love now, Rosie Perez. I'm here with the Sklar brothers here, and you guys are big Cardinals fans. Are you yeah. okay with the Cubs being how good it they are It feels right weird. Now? Rich, it feels so weird. To how me, it so? feels like... Like one of those 1980s movies where two people's souls switch. The Cardinals switch souls with the Cubs. And now we have these totally, and we gotta get back. We gotta right. have a lightning strike. Something's gotta happen. 18 again, vice versa, like father, like son. Big. Big, Big was Freaky one. Freaky Friday. It was 13, oh 13 going on 30. 13 going on 30. That was rough. That I was forgot late. about that. That was Ruffalo, Ruffalo Garner. That was Ruffalo. <laughs> Maybe during the rough ages with me. No, that was Ruffalo saying, I need a gazebo in my backyard. I'm going to do this movie. It's like, I've done enough. You can count on me. Now I need to phone one in. And then he got that yeah. one. So I love, because I like saying that Mark Ruffalo is great in everything. Everything. Okay, Foxcatcher, go watch that. Go and watch like, Foxcatcher and then cry for like a week and exactly. be like, what happened to this Because Ruffalo is so good. I forgot good. about that one. Which yeah. one was Kirk Cameron? Kirk Cameron was in, uh, like, I think, like, like Father, Father like, like Son. That was Dudley, Dudley Moore. Moore. Kirk Cameron oh. made so Dudley Moore. So I feel like the Cardinals, in the when the Cardinals and the Cubs They're like that. switch roles. So now the Cubs have 
They got great pitching. Everybody who comes up is doing their job. They obviously have a great manager. They can Car overcome a, cr a crushing injury, too. Crushing crushing injury, crushing next it. guy up, steps up. Everything's happening for the Cubs, what happened for the Cubs. And I know everyone's going to be like, you can't complain. You're Cardinals fans. You've had it so good for so long. It's like being a Spurs fan and complaining if the Spurs don't make it this year. Yeah, yeah, you won five championships. Or a Patriots fan. It's like, you don't want to hear any more complaining from those people. Those three. Is that all right? Uh, uh, I mean, we did get screwed on Deflategate. I have to talk to you about America for um, Amer Americo yeah. Ferrero. Oh. Ferrero. Is that America, what you call well, it? Well, I, love you know the, the, I love that American horse. American Ferroa. Well, you American know the, Ferroa. I love that horse on Ugly Buddy. Well, because you know O and A, the <laughs> Ugly Buddy. The, the O and A is, is transposing yes. them. So yes. he read it straight. He just read it straight. Like Ferrero. you never read English now, before. Now, like Randy. You were a Martian who'd come down and you're just learning phonetically how to read. Now, Randy, you, you hosted the. Uh, signing Harbaugh, of the stars. Signing day. We're all Michigan guys. We were both supposed to host it. I'm sure they asked you first, and you couldn't be there. When you oh, turned Super it down, Bowl week. when you turned it down, and <laughs> when Eisen turns us. it down, then it comes to us. And then Jay couldn't do because he was shooting a pilot. So it was just me in front of 4,000 people here, and, and then all the people tuning in on TV Jeter's, 12, TV on Jeter's site. So I was really nervous because they play that opening thing with like James Earl Jones, the voiceover, and it is. A stirring opening mm -hmm. video montage this impact. Is, this is CNN. Yeah, it was just and like Michigan. Darth Vader's <laughs> voice, and then there's a drum line, and there's 4,000 people, and I gotta go out there and do comedy that we've never done in front of anybody before. Uh, and he's not used to doing it solo. I'm sitting in the makeup chair. I don't believe in like the if he hurts his leg, I feel it right, twin thing. Right. But I'm feeling butterflies like I'm about to go on stage. I'm nervous. While you're shooting your pilot. Shake it. I'm about to shoot my palm in the makeup chair. I'm holding. I'm I was probably my better than him. I go out on stage and I'm really nervous and I said uh, you know I originally wasn't supposed to host this today I was supposed to host this event at UCLA Harbaugh found out about it slept over at my house big huge laugh. laugh boom boom I was like climbed up a tree huge laugh took off his shirt huge laugh huge threw baseballs at our neighbors and he flipped me I'm here I'm committed to being here great thing great and as soon as that happened I was like okay we're in and it may it led to great moments later when we got uh, McDoom that great guy the the wide, wide receiver, receiver McDoom mm -hmm. I was like this guy I love this guy's name he sounds like a haunted happy meal <laughs> love this guy yeah. McDoom and that, McDoom. that killed too killed, killed. Oh, all of it was great. fun this is great got to interview Brady now, now what was that like Brady <laughs> Guarded. It's amazing. Very guarded. And I don't know if he'd seen some of the stuff we'd done on uh, NFL, NFL now. now. You know, he, he just have fun with him. He's an Insta he's a guy who's constantly on Instagram. And he's so untouchable because he is, you know, he's Tom Brady that he I said, listen, Tom, I'm gonna be interviewing you out, out there. Mm -hmm. I just wanna have fun. We'll have fun. And Brady said, Oh, I'll have fun if if you are okay with me. So he was kind of like, don't. Don't ask me anything. Meanwhile, Ric Flair was like, everyone's like, don't let Ric Flair. Ric Flair got up there to give his speech and then just went, I watched the prompter and the prompter person was like trying to scroll up and down. He just completely <laughs> went off. So the whole time he's sitting down, I got producers in my ear, same thing going, don't let Flair get the microphone. Do not do let not, him. Whatever you of do. course, John Harbaugh's like on the couch. Hey, Rick, what do, what do you think about this? And they're like, get him away. Get him away from the microphone. And I was like. You had to put him in a figure three leg lock. I put him in a it figure, wasn't a figure no, four. It, it was, was a figure it, three. It, looking at, at Rick Flair's prompter, is the word woo scripted on a prompter? He, woo is not. Okay, but so like that's, he that's was, extemporaneous. He was telling. Because like I'd ask how many O's are in woo. Woo is at least 15 O's yeah, in okay. a woo. Because <laughs> you can't fit that on one line. No, you can't. Unless it's this big, huge red That's right. A gigantic I've never heard of such a thing. So you and Brady. That does sound like the man that has had his cell phone looked at and all of his emails I through. That I like said to Brady, I made him laugh on the thing. Him. I made him laugh on the thing. I said, Brady, as we're sitting there in front of 4,000 people and cameras and everything, I was yes. like, this is pretty much how your signing day went, right? He laughed. And I was like, okay, good. This guy can, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're, we're okay here, right? We can still joke and have a good time. And then? And then uh, was Harbaugh good? was cool. You said uh, Jim after was the good. Harbaugh was the best I, because he's an intense guy, and you get why <laughs> yes, you yes. get why he is the way yeah. he is. And uh -huh. I actually think he's perfect for college football. Gets these guys for four years, they move on, mm -hmm. or four or less, and then they move on. So afterwards, I said, "Listen, my brother watched it. He really liked it. Uh, so one day we got to hang out. Me, you, John, and Jason. We'll call it Sklarbaugh. Yeah. And he looked at me and he was like, "Yeah, we're friends now." Like, I didn't know that. I was like, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess we're friends now. I guess we can't not be friends. We are friends now. <laughs> you said it. Oh, man. So what are we promoting you, yours? What are we promoting? Uh, what are podcast, Scalabro Country. Mm -hmm. And then we did a new podcast off of that uh, called uh, Finding the Funny. It's at howl.fm. Where we go to different cities. Whenever we go to do stand-up for yep. a weekend, 
We, we spend a few days in the city. We try to write five to 10 minutes. We give ourselves a challenge. Five to 10 minutes of comedy about our experiences in that city. And we document it. So we have a, an audio device with us. So this is your travel channel? Of so, we, so then we turned it into a pilot for the travel Probably. channel, which we shot, shot it down in Raleigh. Unbelievable, so fun down there. Oh, we great. didn't know anything about Raleigh. Went down and shot down there, and then it's gonna air this summer on the Travel Channel, and we'll see, hopefully it does well. And okay, good. It it's show. fun, it's you, really, really fun, and a challenge, and you get to see how hard it is to create comedy. And you're doing stuff for NFL Now just like this show. Yes. Too. Every week, We're NFL it. Now brethren. Uh, I'm like, I'm like the that. missing Sklar. I'm you are, we're the missing Eisens. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're the extra Eisens. We're the extra Eisens in your drink. <laughs> Drop a little extra Eisen in there. Good to see you guys. Thank you for coming on. Randy and Jason Sklar, at Sklar, Brothers on Twitter. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.